Change is everywhere. Inventions, innovations, gadgets, the internet. Science and technology is redefining the way we live. Rappler brings you the frontline news of this brave new world. Hi, I'm Matthew Ang for our top stories. What role did the cockpit's locking mechanism play in the German wing's plane crash? What's a smart way to install green energy in your own homes? And meet young Filipino innovators who dared to dream. Since 9-11, the aviation industry had modified airplane cockpit doors to prevent terrorists from taking over a plane's controls. How does the cockpit locking mechanism work? And why does this point to a deliberate act in the German wing's plane crash? This past week, investigators made some startling conclusions after analyzing the flight data recorders of, of German wing's flight 9525. They conclude the crash was initiated by the co-pilot. What were the changes made to the way cockpit doors lock and unlock? And how did that play a part in the tragedy? New airline safety protocols mandate that doors be kept locked at all times. If, for example, a flight attendant needs to go into the cockpit, access must be requested through the communication system. The pilot step a switch to unlock the door. If both the pilot and co-pilot become unconscious and can't open the cockpit door, a flight attendant can punch a code into a keypad outside the door. An alert mechanism inside the cockpit tells anyone inside the door will unlock in the next 30 seconds or so. During this time, anyone inside the cockpit can override the unlock function, a safeguard in case a hijacker found the code. In the case of the German wings plane, the black box recorded the sound of the captain knocking and later on pounding on the door. The override from within the cockpit had apparently prevented the captain, who was locked out, from getting back into the plane's control center. In an interview with Popular Science, Vernon Gross, a former investigator for the National Transportation Safety Board, says, Everything has a plus and a minus when it comes to technology. The locking device is wonderful on one side if someone bad is trying to get in, but it will keep someone good out who needs to be in there. We're now here at the Power Lab, a teaching exhibit that aims to educate Filipinos about responsible electricity use and help them manage their energy consumption. Set up by the country's biggest power distributor, Meralco, the lab tests appliances, equipment, and devices. Its core mission, to inform the public on the energy efficiency of electronics. Okay, so here in Power Lab, we do all the research, study, and test on appliances, equipment, and all other energy consuming devices. So we have a 10 cubic feet of an inverter F and a 10 cubic feet of a conventional refrigerator. So based on our test, we found out around 58 to 60 percent in savings. So this refrigerator is costing me only a 9 pesos per day compared to its conventional counterpart which costs around 24 pesos per day. We share our information through our Meralco advisories and then through our website. Did you know that you can install solar panels in your home? And if you produce more than you consume, you can sell the excess power back to Meralco. Under Meralco's renewable energy program called net metering, households can sell back excess electricity generated by the renewable energy systems and can be used as credits to lower the electric bill the next month. Take the case of Mike de Guzman. He invested around 500,000 pesos for a 5 kilowatt peak solar panel system two years ago. He says it will pay for itself in five years. The solar panels themselves will last for 25 years. He notes it's better than a time deposit. If you want to power up two air conditioners, a 3 kilowatt peak rated solar installation capacity would be needed, costing about 450,000 pesos to 600,000 pesos. From connect powered operating room viewing tools to floating houses to earthquake proofing heritage sites. The LSL University's Innovation and Technology Fair whips up an impressive array of prototypes anchored on sustainable development. It's taking innovation for nation building to heart. Architecture student Ina de Makulangan developed models of low-cost, disaster-resilient homes for seaside communities. Basically, it's a, it's a house that floats when there's a flood. Aside from typhoons, the Philippines is also vulnerable to earthquakes. In 2013, a 7.2 magnitude quake shook the Visayas, destroying heritage sites in the province of Bohol. Sheila Fernandez's group 
study the seismic risk assessment for Heritage Center Vegan in Ilocos Sur. Vegan is also located in an earthquake-prone area. The group simulated seismic activity to identify failure points in vegan heritage structures. And we found out that the Archbishop's Palace will collapse. Another DLSU innovator, Astrid Madranca, finds another use for gaming device Kinect. Her team developed a hands-free viewing tool for surgeons using the Kinect sensor. So we want to make everything as sterile as possible. That's why we want to install this system inside the operating room. Truly proud of these young innovators from my alma mater. NASA's Asteroid Redirect mission is finished with the concept phase and it's about to turn into reality. Asteroid Redirect plans to capture a small piece of an asteroid and then bring it to lunar orbit. NASA Associate Administrator Robert Lightfoot explains, A robotically controlled spacecraft will launch in 2020 and spend a couple of years traveling to a pre-designated asteroid. NASA has already identified three possible targets for ARM's boulder plucking phase the asteroids Itokawa, Bennu, and 2008 EB-5. Once the robotic tug reaches the intended asteroid, it will analyze the surface and choose the best chunk to take home. Then, it will deploy a robotic arm and grab the boulder for a return ship. Next comes the human exploration phase. The unmanned spacecraft will then move the boulder into a stable orbit around the moon. That positioning will make it easy for the astronauts to rendezvous with the boulder in 2025. Remember Google's balloon project Loon? Its vision was to bring the internet to places around the globe where there's none. Facebook has similar plans. Recently, it announced a grand project to beam internet down to billions using a drone. Codenamed Aquila, the drone has a wingspan comparable to a Boeing 787. Lightweight materials will allow it to weigh less than a car. Aquila will fly for as long as three months, harnessing solar power. Facebook says it will begin test flights this summer. Let's call on a member of Rappler's savvy social media team, Niall Delia. She'll give you tips on how to get your updates from your favorite Facebook pages. Hello! Wondering why you rarely see updates from a Facebook page you liked? Liking a page is different from subscribing to that page's notifications. But there is a quick fix for that. Dropping down from the Like button on the page, select the Get Notifications option. Never miss an update from your favorite Facebook page again. This is Niall Delia from Rappler's social media. Hyped up about games? Here are some titles worth looking at for your game consoles. Raptor's technology writer and resident gamer, Victor Barrero, files to support. With summer vacation ahead, here are four titles for your game consoles that may be worth your time. <laughs> Following the Dark Souls series, from Software's PlayStation 4 exclusive Bloodborne pits the player against the grotesqueries of the city of Yarna. We recommend Bloodborne for fans of tough action games requiring skill rather than luck to succeed. When the seal of creation is broken. Final Fantasy Type-0 HD is the remastered PS4 and Xbox One version of a PlayStation portable title. You take on 14 distinct personas in the form of Class Zero as a war threatens to tear their city and their world apart. All in all, this is recommended gaming for role-playing fans, lovers of Square Enix's Final Fantasy franchise, and those looking for strategic action combat. Released back in mid-February, Capcom's Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate for the Nintendo 3DS deserves a mention. Why? Simply because of the addicting way it lures players into the trap of slaying gigantic monsters with outrageous weapons. Come for the monster hunting and stay for the cooperative play that lets you slay foes with a group of like-minded players. City Skylines is a city building and management game by Colossal Order and Paradox Interactive. It has players stretching their imaginations and logical thinking skills. Build the city of your dreams. If you've ever wanted to solve the world's traffic problems, this is the place to start. Victor Barrero, 
Rappler, Manila. That's Sci Tech for you. A fun rundown of the biggest, nerdiest, sciencey, techy events on the planet. This is Matthew Ang. See you next week.